understood so what we going to discuss what, what are the things we require to communicate uh, the data from one source to another from transmitting station to receiver station understood so uh, first we need in a transmitter the transmitter should be in audio data or video data that can be converted into in a light signal so the media or a guided media we can use in optical fiber understood and receiving station that can again convert the light signal into an audio signal able to okay sir yes sir so what we going to discuss that in a black diagram and this black diagram shows how we can communicate the data by using optical cable okay so first we need the three basic uh, things we need what are they means optical transmitter required an optical fiber and optical receiver these are the major components of optical fiber communication system okay and okay sir you know now principle of optical fiber system you already know that a total internal deflection so basically a fiber optical system converts an electrical signal to an infrared light signal that is light signal it can convert this signal is transmitted through an optical fiber so so far what we discussed is about optical fiber cable so where i am moving the cursor you can see uh, this what we have fixed is not it uh, this is optical fiber cable will act as in a guided media okay this will carry our data so inside the optical cable so far what we discussed about this pipe is not it. this about this cable we have discussed yes, sir those things, those things we are not discussed it is on in a electronic and communication engineering they will discuss elaborately about how we have to convert audio signal to an light signal those things we will discuss now just we have discussed on optical fiber cable and what are the principle and what is the principle based on the principle of internal reflection we can send the data by a laser okay those things we have discussed and certain conditions also we discussed the two conditions and different optical cables that we have discussed based on material mode of propagation refraction and this uh, black diagram shows how a uh, data is communicated by using a carrier media or carrier media is act as in a optical cable first we need in a transmitter for example i am i am the transmitter i am talking now i am the transmitter you are the receiver is not it yes sir i am the input you are the output okay so in between you and me we have lot of process will to take over uh, we need certain electronic devices we need certain optical communication uh, can be used with optical cables work there so so many different process will take place and then you can receive as an audio signal so within you and me i am the input you are the output i am the transmitting station you are the receiving station how the data is are communicated so what we are now in the technology what we are now this is also because of optical cables okay so what we going to discuss here how we have to transmit and how we have to receive the data and how the light will be converted that is how the data will be converted into light and the light should be carry with a carrier so the carrier will be an optical fiber cable for that we have discussed the earlier in the past two to three classes about what is in a carrier see now in the transmitting station we need that is first it is my input here you can see where i am moving the cursor this is an input that is what our audio data okay that is i am talking that is an audio so we call it as an encoder encoder so again i have to convert the light signal into audio signal they are called as decoder understood okay, sir i think you have studied about encoder decoder and digital electronics analog okay, electronics in last class sir. not last semester so encodes the data encodes the data decodes the data so encoder means it will change the audio data into an certain electromagnetic waves in electromagnetic waves that process we called as an encoder in the receiving station i have kept a decoder what it will do an electromagnetic signal will be converted into audio signal so this is the two process what we have kept on a uh, transmitting station and receiving station encoder and decoder in transmitting channel we have drivers certain drivers are there and light source light source may be in a any laser you can use that that is here itself i am going to convert this electromagnetic wave to an light waves okay so that is the audio signal will be converted into light waves 
it will send through the light so here i have used certain different types of laser so we have different types of lasers are there by using certain uh, material uh, you may use the solid state laser or in you know, a liquid laser or semiconductor type laser gaseous laser they can use here understood so this is a yeah. light source where i can convert my data by using a laser here i can keep any ndyg laser as solid state laser helium neon as an gaseous laser carbon dioxide laser ruby laser as a state laser or a semiconductor diode laser like gallium arsenic laser you can use any type of laser here to send the data through the light so this is the here what we have this arrow mark represent it is in a light wave in this uh, light we have an adive signals are there our adive signals will be uh, propagating through the light okay so here okay, i may sir. use any any coupling here source to the fiber connector so here i may use in a coupler that it may coupled with a, a light source and as well as an optical fiber cable so so far here we have this arrow mark represent with a laser light and compressed of an adive signals data are there inside the light and i am now sending this light signal to an optical cable here we have lot of condition has to be satisfied what are the condition to be satisfied by the light to propagate inside the fiber sir the angle of incidence must be greater than critical angle sir yes another one another another one condition sir the refractive index of core must be greater than kd ah uh, yes yes now you have to satisfy these two condition before entering this light into the uh, carrier so this may act as in a carrier this optical cable as a carrier what does it mean carry they they can carry the wave they can carry the laser light they can carry the data through the optical cable understood so this only what we did in the past 10 years before as uh, we have used this carrier as copper copper wire it's not it now now we have replaced this copper wire instead of this uh, yeah optical cables okay so so far we used copper wire as in a carrier and there we have sent an electromagnetic waves in the copper wires but now we have used as in a carrier as a light and to carry this light we need an a carrier what we called as an optical cable now inside this we have sent in a light signal so by satisfying these two condition as what dinesh said that now what happens the light will take uh, internal reflection is not it so the light will take internal reflection now i am moving the cursor like this is not it they may move in a zigzag manner okay yes sir okay this will move the light will move inside the uh, core in a zigzag manner so depend upon the optical cable even if you use in a single mode fiber then i have only in a, the light will travel on the zero node <clears throat> if i use in a multiple mode then the light will move in a zigzag manner that we discussed earlier so here they may have any output of the light it will receive on the receiving station here itself they may have any light laser light will be received so uh, here i may kept in a one of the important device which act that what it may be detect the light first understood even we call it okay. as an ir detector optical detectors we have to use whether the light is in the particular wavelength or not i cannot receive any light i need in a particular wavelength the light should be detected and the light should be converted to an adive i should not get any other than this wavelength okay understood yes sir so what i have sent here in a particular amount of wavelength that amount of wavelength should be here i have to use or you have here i have to be catched so for that i may use in a detector here fiber to detector okay so here i may use in a certain detectors like uh, photo injection diodes are there avalanche photo diodes are there these diodes are used to detect in a light in a particular ir rate particular uh, wavelength of light can be detected by using this light detectors again these whatever i have used uh, in optical cables even i have satisfied the condition for transmitting the light uh, then there may have certain losses occurs which i cannot uh, reduce the uh, Uh, that much of uh, amount of light uh, so even so 5 to 10% amount of light will be get lost not it i cannot achieve 100% sure. of light intensity there in the output signal there may have certain uh, losses will occur due to so many reasons and here uh, what i am going to do i am going to amplify the light first i have to detect on the receiving station and then the light should be amplified in a particular amount 
and again it has to be decode i cannot send the light as it is for the output station so i has to be convert the light to an audio signal and finally the receiving station will receive the audio signal so this black diagram uh, explains gives the data uh, about uh, how an uh, optical cable is used in optical communication and what are the three major components are required as in a transmitter is required receiving station and what are the things you need on the transmitter encoders require certain driver circuits and certain laser source is required to convert the data to an a light signal on the receiving station you need an amplifier optical de detector is used decoder is decodes the data a light cannot to into an audio signal so by this we can easily understood how an a optical fiber cable is used as in a carrier understood Yes, sir. So, what so far discussed here, it has been explained easily uh, in this point how it works. Understood. Encoder is an electronic circuit where the information is encoded in binary sequence. So, probably whatever the data will be converted in digital codes. Binary is binary means you know that zeros and ones. Understood. Our each and every data audio signal will be converted into binary bits and digital bits. So, this is what the process of encoder here. What I am talking, my audio signal will be converted into a digital signal. It's not it, sir. Uh, that is a process where done by the encoder. The data will be taken by means of zeros and ones. Right? In the light wave transmitter, each one corresponds to an electrical electrical pulse, and zero corresponds to an absence of pulse. So these electrical pulses are used to turn a light source on and off very rapidly. So when I am talking. The pulse will act as in a one. When I am not talking, the they will consider that there there is no any data, so it will go to a zero pulse. So because we can use one and zeros, because of this we are using uh, ones and zeros. So one represents that certain data is there, and then we have to be considered as an electrical pulse are there. When there is no data, then they cause the absence of an pulse. So these electrical pulses are used to turn the light source on and off. Okay, this drive on. This light source will act depend upon their ones and zeros. Okay, ones and zeros. Okay, sir. Okay, the driver converts the incoming electrical signal into form of a, into a form that will operate with the light source. So this is the process of a driver. The driver will convert these electrical pulses into light source. Okay, the electrical pulses are used to turn a light source on and off rapidly by using this ones and zeros. And the optical fiber act as a waveguide. So this uh, optical fiber will act as in a waveguide, as in a carrier. They can carry the wave. So we call it as in a carrier. Optical fiber cable will act as a carrier. That's all. So the, these light pulses will be sent to the carrier. So that is the third point reference here. The optical fiber act as a waveguide and transmits the optical pulses towards the receiver. And by the principle of total internal reflection, you already know this. How the light is transmitted through the optical fiber cable by the principle of internal reflection. Again, on the receiving station, what we did, the light detectors. So it has to be detected in a particular wavelength. For that, we keep certain devices, as in a light detectors, and receive the optical pulses and convert them into electrical pulses. Again, these signals are amplified by amplifier. Okay, the amplified signals are decoded by the decoder. So this is what we have 